Good. Okay. The players came back on Sunday with good energy, you know, just like I expect. It's a relentless group. I expect them to come back the way they did. They came back with good attitudes. Um, we all know what's in front of us. Michigan's a really good football team. Um, the top five in, in rush on offense and then top five in every category on, on defense. Okay, and um, we know what we're getting into. We know, we know the task at hand, but it's an opportunity. And the ball's going to kick off on Saturday. Questions? No, he's a he's a really good player. He's probably one of the top backs in the country. I think he's getting Heisman votes right now. But you, if you watch the film, he's he runs low to the ground. He runs with violence, and he, then he has a really good burst. So he when he sees it, he sees it and he busts through the hole. But he's a really good football player. Hey, Mickey, uh, did Casey Thompson practice today? And what's his availability? No, we held Casey today. Um, just trying to just still be day by day with him, but we, we we held him today. No reps today. We, we talked to him about having a lot of pride, about not being broken, and to continue to fight, and that we start something and we're going to finish it. And along the way, it's going to be some adversity, but we got to bow our neck and we got to play football. It's the only way you can approach it right now. But like I said, it's a good group, good group of kids. They're not going to quit. If Casey is out, do you go with Logan this week based on the end of the game last week? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a decision. Probably Thursday after I watch them both practice, because I got to I got to watch them both practice, this is, you know, and, and see which one's performing the best. But right now I'm looking at both of them right now. How do you balance sort of the human side of that quarterback juggling? Uh, is it sort of a tough love deal? Are you put your arms around him? How do you approach? Well, you got to put your arms around him. It's, it's tough on him because you're not asking kids that's been backups. You know, Logan Logan's probably had more success being a backup that he did it last year. You know, Trevor did a little bit at Florida State, but you got to put your arms around him and, and, and give him some support and show that you believe in him because they had a tough situation. With, with Miles' situation, who do, you, who do you then turn to after, after him in terms of safety? Well, we have Phelan back there. We can um, get Singleton back there. And, um, you know, on Miles' situation, Miles, um, he, you know, he made a mistake. He made a bad mistake, and we don't condone that. We always talk about protect the football team, and he didn't. And he will be suspended this week, and, and we'll reevaluate him after this week. But it's something that he, you can't do. I mean, that's, that's, that's not smart. And we, we always say protect the team. And I'm very disappointed in Miles, and, and Miles is going gonna to make this right. He's going to do a lot of He's going to do some things to get back in good grace with this football team. But – we're not going to condone that. That's that's bad. That's a that's a bad situation. He understood. He's a good kid. He made a mistake, but we can't make mistakes like that. With the, with the quarterback evaluations, um, how do you balance like what you're seeing in practice with, with what you've seen on the on the field so far? Well, you know who's making the throws, who's who's getting us in the correct run plays, and you know they're competing right now. They're competing right now, and and we'll look at each practice and say, okay, he performed really good this day. He performed really good this day. And on Thursday, we have to, we have to make a decision. So we'll, we'll just look at their reps. How is Logan practice? Like you mentioned after the game, like maybe he wasn't maybe as consistent practicing. Has he been more of a gamer than he's been in practices? Or how would you describe it? You're right. I think Logan's more of a gamer, but he's got to practice better. You know, and he, he understands that. And Logan, Logan is really going to attack this week trying to be a better practice player. That's that's his goal this week. Mickey, would you rule out Casey at this point? Right, right now, you know, just looking at him today, I probably would rule out Casey. You know, if, if he if he don't go by tomorrow, if he doesn't go by tomorrow, I'm gonna have to rule him out. I mean, I look at these kids as my sons, so I'm not gonna put them out there if they can't go. And and when Casey, like I said, Casey's gonna say he's feeling better, but I gotta be smart with Casey and not put him out there if he can't if he can't um, perform at a high level. I think it's more gripping the ball right now. Still got a little nerve damage in his pinky. I mean, how do you get these guys to believe that they can compete? I mean, not only compete, but they can pull off the upside. I mean, you have like almost 30 points. Yes. Yeah. How, do you, how do you get these guys to believe? Well, you continue to motivate them and, and 
talk to them about their good place and talk to them about playing 60 minutes. We didn't play 60 minutes this past game. And talk to them that we got we to gotta complement each, each – um, the offense and defense and special teams, we got to work together and that we're going to do a better job as a coaching staff of working together this week, trying to get them to be successful. Well, we're trying to mesh that together right now. You know, we we think Purdy's you know the better thrower, but Logan he can he can make throws also, and we think Logan's the better runner. You know, he's, he's, it happens like that. They're, each quarterback's going to have different strengths and weaknesses. I think if you've been in this league and you understand what you're looking at as a coach, you understand that you got to slow it down because everybody else is slowing it down. This is just the way this league is built, and we got to play Big Ten football. And we're going to, we eventually are trying to get to that. But we got to play Big Ten football, and you got to try to slow it down. Vic, you said you were going to look at the film and see why the run game slowed down in the second half on Saturday. Did you notice anything in particular? Well, we, we got to trust and, and be happy with three and four yard runs. You got to be happy with them. And so we got to say, hey, we got a three yard run. Let's, let's pad it back up and go back at it again. And maybe we get another three yard run. You know, nice third and four is manageable. When you say we, you mean the coaches? Or? We, me, you know, the coaches. The kids not calling the plays. Right. We are. <laughs> so is that conversation you have with. with Absolutely. We had that conversation. How'd it go? That's between me and Whipple. Hey, the rankings say Michigan is, is, a, is a better team than Illinois and Minnesota, the two teams we just played. Mm -hmm. What does the film say about why they might be a little bit better than those teams? Or, or, or are they comparable to Illinois? Minnesota? Well, they're a very talented football team. They have, you, you see talent across the board. You see talent when they put their twos out there. It's a very talented 85 scholarship group. And I think they're probably the best, the, the best team that we're going to face this year for us talent-wise. But they're well coached. You know, Hobart does a really good job. They're well coached. They're a tough team. They do a lot in the run game. They do a lot on defense. And they got a high football IQ football team. And, and they're an older football team. So you're dealing with a really good, solid football team this week. Well, I usually watch the last game that they play last year. I usually watch it on Thursday, so I didn't watch the game last year. Yes, we um we we brought Dr. Cheddar's in last week, and we talked about voting. What's the message on that? Get out and vote. Get out and vote. <laughs> you can't make them, but you tell them get out and vote. <laughs> you know, so they're kids. You know, they're kids. They think everything is going to be normal the rest of their life. They're having fun. What's your uh, running back situation look like after Anthony? Will you get um, uh, Gabe back this week? Yeah, Gabe practiced today. Gabe practiced today. Okay. Yeah. 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 Gabe looked good today. We worked him out yesterday, you know, just the trainers just running through some things, and he looked really good today. But he's a turf toe, and I had turf toe before, and that's a tricky injury. You know, that it, they can come and it can go, but he practiced today. Nick, uh, how important is communication, especially losing miles in the back end? You did a lot of that. I mean, have everybody up in their level to make sure that the calls are right. Mm -hmm. Well, Buford, Buford's um, capable of getting it done, lining everybody up. You know, and Luke's out there. Luke, you know, screaming. You have a lot of hand signals that we can communicate. We, you know, we lose a lot with Miles. We lose a lot with Miles. But, you know, Buford's, Buford can um, handle that, that situation. It's a larger picture question. Okay. As it relates to the safety position, mm -hmm. there's a lot of guys on the team, but a lot of them, you know, you're, you're, you're again in a position to play as a walk-on. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is there something there that you feel like needs to be recruited differently or developed differently so that so that there's more of the scholarship guys are getting a chance to they're on the field because they're ready to play and they're playing well? Yeah, yeah, and you know it goes back to when you're out recruiting. You get, you know, I think when you go in a portal and you go get a, a junior college kid, that they got you got to vision them as starters. Something like free agency. When you go to the Saints and you pull a kid to the Falcons, he's coming in. He's going to be a starter. I think a high school kid, you can look at him and say, okay, I'm going to develop him in two years. And that's the big thing about once you recruit him, we got to keep him in the program. We got to keep him here. That's what everybody in the Big Ten's doing. They're keeping their kids here, and now their kids are, you know. With the COVID, fifth year, fifth year juniors, six year seniors, we got to get to that. We're a young football team right now, but we got to we got to get to that. And, and it goes back to recruiting, but it also goes by when they get here that we start developing them and keep them in. You can't develop them if they're not here, but we got to keep them here. You talking about when I played? As a player, as a coach? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Never been on the dog like that, you know. But it happens, you know. It happens. What, what does that say? I mean, what, what, what the I don't know. I mean, it means they think they're four touchdowns better than you. I, that's what they. That's what. That's what they're saying, you know. But you still got to kick the football off. You still got to kick the ball off. We got to go out. We got to play top, at, at a top level. We got to, like we said, we got to play sixty minutes. But we're not going to back down. We're not going to back down. We're not going to say, oh, we're going to throw the towel in. These kids won't do that. These coaches won't do that. We're not going to do that. Is there something that I know Caleb said after the game he wishes the defense had put together four quarters, but is there something to be taken from that game against Minnesota, kind of, kind of how the first two and a half, three quarters, one length, or two quarters? Yeah, you know, and he, I mean, you know, Caleb speaks his mind, and, he, you know, he wanted to make sure we play 60 minutes as a defense. The defense played lights out. But we can, we can help the defense also, but – we got to continue to try to play 60 minutes of football on all three phases. Vicky, what's your point of view on, on Harbaugh? Um, you guys are kind of somewhat close in age as contemporaries as college quarterbacks. And kind of <coughs> watch his career and what do you think of the job he's done in Michigan in seven years? Well, I think he's done a, a, a great job. You know, he's, he was a really good, really good quarterback in the league, and he's a really good football coach. His brother's a really good football coach in the Ravens. My brother, Vance, knows his brother. So it's something like my family. It's a football family. He does a really good job. I had a chance to meet him in Birmingham, Alabama, when I was at LSU. He was a, really, he was a great guy to talk to. But he's got a really strong football team, and it's because of, he's a really good football coach, and he's really organized, and, and, he, and he preaches toughness. And they're tough. You can watch it on film. They're a tough you football see, team. You see you know, the way he built <coughs> Well, I think that's the way you have to build your football team in this conference. I think you got to be to run the football. You got to be to stop the run, but it's still got to be physicality. But, and I think he's done a really good job of doing that. He started at Stanford, like you say, went to the 49ers, then he went to Michigan. So he has a really good philosophy of what he, what he wants to do, and he's been successful with it. Take your hat off to him.